Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Red Collectors. As I'm drawing closer to a complete Dreamcast collection, finding Dreamcast games in the wild, especially with what I have left to get, is not gonna happen very easily. But luckily I was able to visit a local store, We Got Games, up in Ajax, Ontario. And he had a selection of unbelievable titles from the Dreamcast to the Super Nintendo, N64, NES. The store is unbelievable to see. When you walk in, it's wall-to-wall -wall video games and consoles throughout. I was really, really impressed. This is the first time I was ever actually at the store and I was really, really impressed and blown away by the quality of games and how clean the store looked. There's so many games that he has multiples of, from rarities to super commons to games that you never see. Racing games are in abundance on the Sega Dreamcast. But when you think of racing, Tokyo Extreme Racer technically comes on top of that list. Tokyo Extreme Racer 1 set the bar for racing games on the console, and this one broke it. Mr. Driller, most puzzle games has you clearing the top rows of the puzzle to try to clear the level. This has you instead going deeper and deeper and deeper into the level while trying to find air bubbles or pockets of air so that you can survive longer. If you break the wrong block, the whole level comes crashing down. This is a lot of fun and really intense, especially trying to find air pockets when you know that if you make the wrong move, you're gonna die. This is such a blast to play. and bust a move four. My wife loves this game. She play constantly, trying to match obviously the colors together. And this is such a fun game to play with two players when you're trying to mess up the other person's screen. I'm not gonna lie, my wife's pretty good at this game. Each game is meticulously clean, and even the cases of the Dreamcast games were brand new cases. It really takes nothing to just swap out a case, but some stores don't do that. They give you whatever it was traded into them, and they just put it back on the shelf and try to sell it. We Got Games goes through a meticulous cleaning regimen when it comes to their games, either resurfacing their games or rechanging the cases that the games came in. I had a blast going there with my brother-in-law, Danny. It was something that we don't often get to do, go video game hunting together. And when we decided to go for this long road trip, it was a good time spent together. If you see me on stream, I was playing this just to test it and see how much I loved it. And honestly, I really did. Playing it brought back so many memories of going to arcades and playing, not this, necessarily this one, I played a lot of 2000. But playing this brought me so much memories of going to arcades and wasting so many quarters just on it. It was such a great game, so much fun to be had. The late hits alone are so much fun to see and the trash talking amongst players is so much fun and awesome to hear as you're playing. A few months back, I covered arcade games that were on the Sega Dreamcast and they were classic arcade games and Qbert was one of them. And unfortunately during that time, I didn't have access to the game just yet. While playing this, it's your standard Qbert game if you ever played Qbert on the Atari 2600, but with upscaled resolution and 3D character models. It's a fun little game, but it's not my cup of tea because there's no end game as far as this game goes. And lastly, another racing game, F1 World Grand Prix. And a funny story is, as common as this game may seem to be, it's really not. I was looking for this on eBay for so long that I can never come across it. I've come across Japanese versions, I've come across PAL versions, but the North American version, I've never seen. I was following it for months on end and I never seen a new game pop up. This game is heavily customizable from steering sensitivity to aerodynamics. It has four modes of gameplay, single, championship, time trials, and multiplayer. 
which is only two cars on the track at once. Crossing six more titles off the Dreamcast list, that brings me down to 33 games left from my collection. I'm probably gonna go after some variants, maybe the Sega All-Stars games if I come across them real cheap. And I know there's certain variants of the Sega All-Stars games that are a little bit harder to get, like Hydro Thunder and Power Stone. You can catch me on my live streams where I pull a question on my community tab of what game I should play on the Sega Dreamcast. The last winner was Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and I was able to complete that game on stream. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.